Hello! Today I'd like to show you the bagless Miele vacuum cleaner. Before you start using the vacuum cleaner, adjust the telescopic tube to your height. This will be easier on your back. Simply pull on the tube and allow it to click into place. If you have different types of flooring at home, you can use the universal floor head, which is very practical because it can be adjusted to the type of flooring you have. This setting is just right for the hard surfaces here. Okay, here we go. For carpet, I set the floor head so that the bristles are retracted. In order for the floor head to glide easily, I simply set the power level to the carpet setting. By the way, here in the transparent container, you can see everything that the vacuum cleaner has sucked up. There are two accessories integrated here next to the dust container. The crevice nozzle is good for getting into very narrow gaps. With the upholstery brush, you can easily remove lint and hair from furniture. The accessories can be secured either to the suction tube or to the top of the handle. Now I'm going to show you the dusting brush. The dusting brush is really practical for vacuuming furniture. With this brush, you can clean lots of different kinds of surfaces. I use the parquet brush for delicate hard flooring. Once the brush is clicked into position, you can start vacuuming. I really like using this brush on my parquet floor because it's very soft and doesn't scratch the floor. And with the flexible joint, I can reach it to every corner. When the dust container is filled to the max mark, it needs to be emptied. To remove the container, simply lift this black handle and take the container out. Hold the container over the bin and then simply press the yellow button and the dirt will fall out. You might have noticed there's virtually no fine dust coming out here. That's because that's kept in a separate container, the fine dust filter. It's only when this fine dust filter is very dirty that the Comfort Clean button will light up yellow and the fine dust filter will be cleaned automatically. You'll hear this happening. You can also activate this cleaning process yourself at any time by pressing this button. The vacuum cleaner will turn off for about 20 seconds during this process. Afterwards, you can vacuum with full power again. The fine dust filter only needs to be cleaned with water about once a year. In this case, the button will light up red and the vacuum cleaner will down-regulate to the lowest setting. Simply hold it under running water and rinse it out. That way you don't come into contact with the fine dust. Please pay attention to the symbols on the container. The filter must not be cleaned with a brush or with detergent and you must leave it for 24 hours to dry before it's used again. You can use the filter again when it's completely dry. When you finish vacuuming, simply rewind the cable. 
Then push the telescopic tube back together. And park the floor brush on the back of the vacuum cleaner. This makes it easier to carry and store. I hope you've learned some helpful tips to take away with you. For any further questions or to make a suggestion, simply visit the Milo website. See you soon.